So chlorine or bromine, which one is better? What does shock do? These are all common questions that come up when you're first learning about your hot tub. Chlorine is cheaper than bromine as a sanitizer. However, it's not designed to hold up to the heat of a hot tub. That's why I like bromine better. It holds up to that heat and I have to add it less frequently. Chlorine is a little bit cheaper, but over time you'll save money because you won't have to add bromine as often as you do chlorine. Now what about shock? Shock is also called oxidizer and it basically brings that sanitizer back to life. Why does that need to happen? Well, the whole purpose of adding chlorine or bromine to your hot tub is to sanitize the water, to get rid of bacteria and other contaminants that get into the water over use. And when we bring it back to life, we're removing compounds called chloramines or bromamines. What are those? Those are basically what chlorine or bromine turn into after it's been going to work attacking the bacteria and other contaminants in your water. The problem with having chloramines or bromamines in your water is when you dip that test strip into the water and check it, it's going to think that there's still chlorine or bromine in there when in fact there might not be. That's really bad for the people soaking in your hot tub because you're putting them at risk. So when we add shock to our hot tubs, and you should do that about once a week, it reactivates that sanitizer and brings it back to life. Then, after you've waited a little bit of time, you check and you add more as needed. So, as I mentioned, it's totally fine to use a chlorine shock when you use bromine to sanitize your hot tub. However, there are a few things to take note of. First of all, never mix the two chemicals together dry. That's a really bad idea. You also don't want to add both to the hot tub at the same time. Why is that? It's because chlorine shock, as its name implies, contains chlorine. It's going to elevate those chlorine levels. So you want to wait at least 30 minutes before adding any sanitizer after you've added a chlorine shock. So wait 30 minutes, dip a test strip in, see where the level comes out, and then adjust the bromine levels as needed. Lastly, you don't ever want to go back and forth between using chlorine sanitizer and bromine sanitizer. The two work differently, and while it's okay to use a chlorine shock with bromine sanitizer, you don't want to switch back and forth between chlorine sanitizer and bromine sanitizer. So we've already talked about the fact that it's okay to use chlorine shock when you're using bromine as your sanitizer, but there are a few other things to be aware of. First of all, chlorine shock can be used less frequently than non-chlorine shock because non-chlorine shock doesn't disinfect the water. Chlorine shock contains chlorine, as the name implies, and it disinfects the water and helps the sanitizer do its job far better than non-chlorine shock. The plus of using a non-chlorine shock is that you can get into the hot tub a lot faster. If you use a non-chlorine shock in this hot tub, it'll be good to go inside of 20 minutes. If you add a chlorine shock, you're going to want to wait at least 30 minutes, test the water, and adjust the bromine levels as needed. Putting chlorine in right away, that chlorine level is going to take a little bit of time to dissipate. And too much chlorine, it can be harmful to your skin. It can cause rashes. and It's that smell and the redness that you get that you typically associate with a swimming pool. So the plus of a non-chlorine shock is you can get into the hot tub a whole lot faster. But for me personally, I use a chlorine shock and I use bromine to sanitize. And so those are my tips for you in this video. I've got a lot more videos coming out soon. Again, hit the bell notification to get notified of future videos like this one. Give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribed to this channel. And if you have a comment, anything you like, you didn't like, any ideas for future videos that you'd like to see, please take a moment to leave that comment down below. Thank you again for being here, and we'll see you in the next video here on Hot Tub Owner HQ.